Yeah, g'day, my name's Mark and I'm a hobby machinist. Well, actually after two years, I'm a YouTube hobby machinist. But because these machines and all their accessories are so expensive, there's never any money left to buy things like computer and camera gear. I need your help deciding what editing laptop to buy. So help me out. Do I buy new? Do I buy refurbished? Do I buy used? Or do I not buy an Apple Air at all? I bought this ZBook 14 used about five years ago. I'm kind of loath to replace something that still works. Here's my dilemma. This PC is really old, like 10 years old. It can't edit 4K video. I know, I've tried one time. It was incredibly painful. It took over 12 hours to render it out. These hinges are getting really wobbly. Let's pull it apart. They've been loose before and I've tightened them. Fun fact, these ZBook 14s were used on the International Space Station. They had to modify them because you can't use convection cooling. If there's no gravity, then there's no up. And if there's no up, then convection doesn't work and the heat just stays wherever it was. They had to add some fans or add extra cooling to some components. This is where I need your help. If I'm gonna replace this computer, what do I replace it with? I use DaVinci Resolve for all of my editing. And from what I've seen, the fastest, cheapest, best computers for editing video are now the MacBook Air. I probably should be an Apple fanboy because my first encounter with computers were... The Apple II. Small, inexpensive, simple to use. Back in 1984. Four, I guess. My high school had a scheme where they bought the computers, you paid them a couple of hundred bucks sort of as a deposit, and you're allowed to take Apple IIe's home for the weekend. And then when you left school, you got your 200 bucks back. So it was a pretty cool deal. Of course, I didn't really learn much about computers. I just played games. But since then, I've never really had anything to do with Apples. All of the tests I've looked at show that they're just awesome at editing 4K video in programs like DaVinci Resolve. That's the main thing I need it for. So all the videos I've looked at show that even the absolute baseline M1 Air actually would work fine for what I need to do. One came up for sale used for about 800 bucks. And I thought, wow, that's a great price, especially because it came with like a docking hub sort of thing. And I thought, well, that's not a bad price, you know, they, they cost about 1200 new here in Europe. And then I noticed, hey, wait a minute, it's gold colored. Yuck. I thought that was pretty darn ugly. So I got chatting with my mate. He reckons I should just go ahead and buy a new one from the Apple store because then I get a warranty and stuff. Still a, something here. Oh, there it is. But that's 1200 bucks versus 800 bucks and ugly. And of course I was joking that because I like green painted machines so much, maybe I should buy a gold apple, paint the thing green and just use it like that. Have you guys ever pulled a high-end laptop apart? That's not good, that just flew out, that's broken. The thing that amazes me is this metal backplate. It's a casting, a, a die casting. And I mean, it's just incredibly fine, incredibly perfect. You've got these little like one millimeter features in the, in the vent there and stuff. Incredible casting technology. I just pulled it apart because I thought that the screws holding the monitor on might have come loose. But nah, I think it's actual wear in the hinge itself. Those screws are all tight. I guess it's wearing out. That anchor nut which uh, fell out. Turns out it came from this corner. I've JB welded it back in place. This must have been the corner I dropped the laptop on. A small YouTube channel like this one doesn't get enough traffic to just run out and buy an expensive top of the line computer for a video editing or anything. So whatever I get's gonna come out of my pocket. So what would you do? Soldier on with the old laptop because it still works, sort of. Buy a new Apple M1 Air from the Apple store. Buy a refurbished one from the same store for 950 or buy a used one which is colored gold for like 780 That's my dilemma. Give me your comments, please. I guess another option would be do some sort of a Patreon campaign or something. If I crowdfund the computer, people will get something from it and that I could then improve the video quality by shooting in 4K. I don't know, what do you think of that? <laughs> Thanks a lot for watching. See you next time.